Students here at Worcester State University say they were in shock after they heard about the shooting. Now police are increasing patrols throughout the neighborhood in light of what happened. Homecoming now canceled here at Worcester State University after two people were shot on campus early Saturday morning. We were looking outside the windows and it just seemed like everybody was just fighting. The district attorney says one of those victims who had been shot has died. The other undergoing surgery at a local hospital, adding that neither the victims or the attackers involved are students at the school. Shortly after the incident, there was a person placed under arrest close to the scene. A firearm was recovered. That person was charged with trespassing and possession of a firearm. Authorities say it happened around 2.30 in the morning in a parking lot at the university. It was, it was like very like eye-opening to just be able to see that like something like that can really happen at any moment and you, you could just be in the right, like the wrong place. Students waking up to alerts going off on their phones as a shelter in place went into effect on campus. Phone starts blowing up, hear about a uh, shooting that went down over in Wazian parking lot. And, uh, start calling around, make sure everyone's okay, see if my, my roommates are all good. Many of the students we spoke to telling us they later saw videos of the shooting circulating on social media. I was just scared. I was like, I, you wouldn't think that would happen to your school, you know? And then you see all the posts and it's like, it's scary. The university is now offering counseling services for students as all campus-wide activities both on and off campus have been canceled until further notice. My prayers go to all the families and the victims and it's just very unfortunate. That shelter in place has since been lifted. The Worcester County District Attorney says that they don't believe this was a random incident. Authorities are now asking if you have any videos or saw anything that could be helpful to their investigation to contact campus police. In Worcester, Diane Cho, NBC 10 Boston. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.